symbolism of that. It's a, it's a powerful symbol of, you know, of renewal, of growth. And being a volcano, you know, it's all, always those, that cauldron of fire that causes that to work. And, you know, makes it what it is. You know, it's a, a symbol cause, and a very potent one. And for me, the birds, if you look at the birds, uh, and the Japanese, they did birds so well that I've always loved that, particularly the Japanese crane. And that's a very spiritual bird for them. And uh, for me, I have done paintings of the Japanese crane and the birds, but outside of those birds, it's really interesting in how I take a look at my life being a person with a disability, and one day I will have, I will not be walking, but I don't focus on that. However, an interesting thing happened in my art in about a year ago, when I started doing the birds, the long-legged birds, the storks, the swine, the swans, the, um, the blue herons. I started to paint them without legs. And at first it didn't even dawn on me what I was doing. Then down the road, someone says, your, your birds don't have legs. So yeah, that's right. And I had to think for a minute and then I had to kind of laugh. I think, well, this is interesting. Because there's a part of my being that's thinking that, you know, down the road, I won't be walking anymore. So um, it was a start of me spiritually sort of not focusing on my physical self so much. Because I'm looking ahead, because I see these birds now that I'm painting them without the legs as sort of a, being a, a next evolution, like a spiritual evolution, where we're not so much anchored to the, to the earth. You know, just solidly there, but we're free to sort of fly and really... Uh, meet our potential. And that's what I hope my paintings do for people because they look at the color and it's, it's gotten more, more colorful. But color is just this celebration of life. That's why I like to use really vibrant colors like the one behind me here. That uh, It's really important. That really tells us, you know, we are alive. This is a, this is, we live in one huge miracle. And, uh, and that's what the paintings are about to create that sense of calm space in people's lives and their hearts and their spirits. So that would be the one thing I'd want people to know that number one, yes, we are nature and we need to have that balance and uh, not to be afraid of words like spiritual beings and we have all many ways of being spiritual in this world and being connected. So that's where you see in the color and the birds because, you know, they are the, the birds again, it comes back to that, they exist in that, that plane, that space between you know, heaven and earth. And so that's why I came to this, seeing them as being uh, just messengers. And, and if, if there's a message at all to humans, I, I think one of my writing I wrote about uh, that the message would be beauty. And beauty is a really important message. Because it, beauty is not, does not have one description. You know, count the number of human beings on this planet. And that's how many beautiful people we have in this world. And the color in nature, that's where we're grounded back. And when color is bright, I think it really affects us psychologically. And I always feel happy. And I always feel really connected to my own world and people around me. And so really, I think that says a lot about uh, my work. In many interviews that I've had with uh, reporters, you know, both in Canada and in Japan, there's always a point, you know, once we talk about the art, and they know where it comes from and everything, they, they inevitably ask me, uh, how do you feel about the fact that, you know, you have this disability and, you know, there are so many things that you can't do. Uh, how does that, how do you feel about that? How does that impact your life? And uh, what I always tell them is that, you know, I acknowledge that, yes, there may be many things in this world that I cannot do but then there are many more things that I can do. So I'm never worried about what I can't do because uh, I have come to learn that, you know, with a little bit of sort of courage and uh, sort of take that risk and step out into the void as it were and just try something, just go for it. You know, just uh, reach out there and uh, try what we can because in the end, you know, we're all very capable of doing anything. If one thing ends that you can't do, there are thousands more things that you can do. And I would hope with my art and just through who I am that if I had one message for people is, would be to just, you know, just go out and do it. You know, don't be afraid, try it. If one thing doesn't work, just keep going. That's always been my life. When, some, when I can't do one thing, there's always another adventure to, to come along. And uh, 
Life's about adventure. In a way, our spiritual adventure or journeys. And uh, with that spirit, that's how I go forward into the world, just open to adventure and just allow things to be what they are. And that's how I hope people see the artwork. They'll see it. I've had my conversation with the artwork, and now I invite all of you to take a look at my artwork and have your own conversation with the work. And then someday we'll talk about it. Thank you. Thank you.